Hello everyone, you might be in a situation where your iPhone is just not responding to touch. Now what does this mean? Well essentially on your iPhone, it has a beautiful display. I love these iPhones so much, but the issue at times is your device, the screen may just not be working or may not be functional. Now the very first thing I would recommend doing is actually making sure you didn't recently drop your iPhone, you didn't throw your iPhone, anything along those lines, because if you did, chances are your device may actually have a faulty screen of some sort. If you look into maybe you the side of your device and if you're seeing scratches, cracks, or you know, maybe even like a little bit of like LCD screen, like the little like colored pixels or whatever, that may mean that your screen may actually be faulty now. And if it's not responding to touch because of that, you're really going to have to just get a screen repaired and basically go that direction. That's really the only other option you have at that point. Now let's say you didn't do that. Well, the next thing I recommend doing for the most part is seeing if you actually installed a screen protector or a weird case on your device. I've seen so many people install a screen protector just completely poorly. You know, if you are going to install a screen protector, you wipe down the screen, you make sure nothing's on it, you make sure the screen protector is good too, and then you can go through and actually install it. I've seen many people just go and even with some like water on their display, they will go ahead and just install this screen protector. That is now what you want to do. You want to make sure you have everything set up properly, cleaned off, everything like that, and then you should be good to go kind of from that direction as well. Now on top of that, if you recently updated your iPhone, that is another big thing that can cause some touchscreen issues every once in a while. So what I would recommend doing is going into your settings. You want to scroll down into your general settings here. You want to click on about. And if you look at your software version that you're on, if you're on like the latest version of software, sometimes that can actually cause maybe some weird issues with your display. I've heard of a lot of situations where a software update does actually affect your specific device's display. So again, it's not like the craziest thing ever. It's not unheard of, but it is kind of outlandish. Like if you are somebody who has like a brand new iPhone, that's probably not the case. If you have an older iPhone, things like that can happen too. Now, if you're on a super old version of iOS, that can also cause some, cause some issues as well. So what I would recommend doing here, scrolling down into general settings right here, clicking on software update, and all I would recommend doing here is just updating your phone. So if you have an update available, just go ahead, click on install now, update that specific you know device, and that could end up fixing the situation too. Now, if that's still not working, another thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is restarting your device. So go ahead and hold down the power button and you know the standard button on the side, slide the power off, go ahead and power back on your iPhone, and that could end up fixing this situation as well. So those are just a few different ways to go ahead and pretty much fix your iPhone if your screen is just not working, if the touch is not working. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.